Oh, hi there. Hi, how's your day going? Good, 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 good. Perfect. I'm Lady Divine. Welcome to my Born Divine family. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Now, let's talk about how you can make your eyes look bigger with makeup. There are tons of YouTube tutorials on this topic, but I guess different makeup artists have different visions, secrets, techniques, and I have decided to film my take on this kind of transformation i am not trying to tell you you have to make your eyes look bigger i'm not trying to tell you that if you have smaller eyes you are not attractive enough no that is far far away from the truth i'm trying to convey here on my channel but this is a very requested technique and i have decided to film my take on this topic because i have some tips and tricks up my sleeve that will help you understand how to correctly do this and how to really make your eyes pop with makeup. The majority of tricks will make you achieve that rounder shape for your eyes, that doll eye effect. But in today's video, I'm trying to combine the doll eye effect with the feline effect so that you can have bigger eyes, but also longer eyes. Of course, you probably know, of course, you probably can see it. The basic step in this technique is using, logic will tell you, a white eyeliner. For me personally, the white eyeliner always looked a bit too harsh, a bit too fake. Because of that, I would never recommend you to use a white eyeliner, but what you can use instead it's a beige one, an ivory one, basically the one that better suits your skin color, your skin tones. But then again, using only this trick, only this eyeliner won't do too much. It will only look like you're wearing something on your waterline and that's it. What we have to do in order to create this illusion, because let's not forget, makeup is an illusion. It's an instrument we use in order to make others believe that we look different. We we basically deceive the perception of others so as to achieve successful results and not just that effect of oh you're wearing something on your eyes uh, we have to use an entire system of lights and shadows we have to really really play with lights and shadows so that we can really transform any shape we want to transform on our face. I'm really, really happy to share every information I have with you. So if you want to learn something new, just keep on watching. Okay, let's start by prepping our eyes. And remember in my last video when I told you that concealers are not recommended to prep your lids, but there are some concealers that will not let you down, that will not crease throughout the day and this is one of those concealers. I've tested it, I've tried it on so many type of lids. This is the MUP concealer in 01. So let's apply it on our dark circles and on our mobile lid. I will be applying it right about here because I want to push it onto my nose. This way I am basically remodeling my nose. Okay, I think that's a little bit too much. And then let's add a tiny bit. Well, that's not a tiny bit, it's a lot. But keep in mind that we are going to blend everything with a sponge. So this will absorb any excess. I really like this concealer, but I'm thinking about maybe if you want to, I can make a, an entire tutorial about every concealer I've ever tried or every concealer I have in my kit, every concealer I like or dislike. Good. Now, when you're blending this out, be careful and do not bring the concealer on your lower lid. Leave that surface alone because we will need that baggy area, if I can call it like that, for our shading and we will use that space 
to create the illusion we want. So blending everything, everything. First of all, look at the difference between these two eyes. Look at the difference in length, in height. I think that once you'll practice this enough, you will not want to do your makeup in any other way. Let's add a tiny bit of highlighter. I'm using the OMG One Beyond Powder from Ilamasca. Oh, this one. This one is one of my favorite highlighters. And I'm doing this now because this will help me keep this area clean. And of course, because we are using so many dark eyeshadows, we will have to keep safe and bake our under eye a little bit. For that, I will be using these two powders. The Creolan one quickly became one of my favorites. And the Chanel one is just a staple in my kit. I always have to have it. And I am mixing it with everything else I have. I'm just shaking it to get everything mixed pretty well. And let's place it accordingly. Just follow the shape of your under eye. Baking my nose also. And baking my big old pores. Now, using this kind of brush, do you see it's angled? And this one is from Misa Brushes, number 96. Oh, come on, focus. Yeah. This shape, this kind of brush will help you so much in creating that outer V shape and it will blend the eyeshadow beautifully. And I'm using this dark, dark brown, dark, dark chocolatey brown eyeshadow. It's from this Dior palette. Let's see if you can see it. Yes, I've used this a lot. It's 567 Adore. Now, the placement of this eyeshadow is so important. It will look ridiculous at first, but please trust the process and try it on first with a lighter eyeshadow and then pack other eyeshadows, pack the intensity and just see where you can find yourself comfortable at what level you can find yourself comfortable with this kind of shape. So, I'm analyzing the shape of my eye, the shape of my bag, basically. I'm looking at my lines, like where are they going? And I'm trying to hug the volume, the volume of my eye with eyeshadow. And this is how it will look in the beginning. Don't be scared, just place the eyeshadow underneath your bags your eye bags yes everybody has them it has nothing to do with how much you sleep it's just a natural volume of your of your eye it's not ugly it's not beautiful it's just something we anatomically have yes so this is the only way you'll get that doll eye effect but we won't be stopping at the doll eye effect we will bring the eyeliner the wing because we need that elongated shape we like that we want that we're looking for that and now i'm trying to build the v the outer v and as you can see i have here the direction of my makeup it goes straight to my temple but from this part here i'm trying to build the shade and the shape by hugging my upper lid's crease. Do you see that? It's the V. I'm hugging the crease. Going on top of it. Not into my crease, but on top of it. Going lower into your crease will basically make your eyelid look smaller than it normally is. So, yes. And then carefully just Add some more eyeshadow, placing it all around our eye. Oh, it's going to look amazing when we're going to blend everything 
outwards I'm just adding the pigment now I'm now taking a synthetic brush this one is from Morphe E62 I hope you can see it yes and I will use a synthetic brush to blend everything out because underneath this eyeshadow I have concealer so yes the synthetic brush will help move the pigment around without picking up too much like a natural uh, brush would do gently gently start blending i i am pushing the brush into the skin and i am pulling at the same time and we are basically mixing the creamy pigment from the concealer with the dry formula of the eyeshadow oh i love this like this tail that goes straight up to my temple i just love the way it hugs my it accentuates my dent my natural dent now i like the shape I like the intensity, I like how easy the eyeshadow blended into my skin, but I am not pleased with this color, with how it looks right now on my skin and on my eyes. As you can see, it's a little bit too cool tone for myself, so I'm going to add some different shades of brown of brown eyeshadow in order to warm it up a little bit. I'm using the exact same brush because it is so easy to pack the eyeshadow wand with this brush it's from I, I i think i already told you that it's from misa brushes and it's it comes in a set it's called manifesto and i love their bristles they're all synthetics but they work amazing they are so well made yes and now i really like this color the cool tone browns will help you with keeping the shape in place and then the warmer tones will blend it into your skin i'm now using a pencil brush this one is misa 2 and it doesn't have a number it's oh it's number three it's here come on focus 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 and with this clean brush basically blending everything making sure there are no spots left behind just keep blending and blending and keep checking on your blending and in the end to marry everything together do you remember the trick i showed you in that other tutorial with the blush yes we will do it today too and we will do it always always to hide imperfections in our blending technique and also just to blend the makeup into our skin tone this still doesn't make a lot of sense isn't it well that's because we are not done we are not done with the makeup let me just smudge everything out all the creases here if you feel like your lid got dirty you can clean it up with a tiny bit of concealer just don't add too much a little goes a long way and because you don't want to add a lot of creamy formula on your lid because you want to avoid creasing beautiful and clean now picking up this shimmery eyeshadow from the same palette i'm keeping things as simple as i can i don't want to use too many eyeshadow palettes in the same tutorial because of course at home you, you probably want to do 10 looks with just one eyeshadow palette and that's completely possible you know you can get creative with palette of only five eyeshadows why not so i have added that eyeshadow and now of course i'm gonna clean my crease Remember, you can go so much softer with this look and it will totally look perfect on you, especially if you want to wear it on a daily basis. Now let's clean 
the lower lid with the same concealer. I'm cleaning it and I am blending it with the brown eyeshadows. You can use your finger to warm and blend everything out. Yes, the warmth of your finger will help with that. And then we are going to add the exact same eyeshadow. Clean it up. We are not there yet, but we are certainly getting there, trust me. Just to make things fun and just because I have this, it's optional. I am going to add this golden, it's like a golden glitter, but it's not glitter. It's basically a, a foil eyeshadow and I'm bringing just the softest amount of sparkly eyeshadow onto my lids. It's completely optional. Oh, the eyeliner. Don't get scared, just practice. Just practice this and you will be there in no time. Now, because we have altered the shape of our eye so much and now our lower lid, like basically we want to say that it starts right here, we will have to draw the eyeliner in a different way than how we normally do it. And what I'm talking about is you basically have to start from where your low, your new lower lid now starts. That spot would be right about here. See, it's in continuation to your new lower lash line. Because the illusion we want to create is that this is our lid and this is our new lower crease. So in continuation to our new lower crease, I'm just going outwards with this eyeliner. And because we have now a bigger eye, a longer eye, we will have to draw a bigger and a longer eyeliner also. I'm also exaggerating a bit just for you to see how far you can go with makeup and still look decent. <laughs> but, well, I hope you'll think that in the end. And I'm not going to bring the eyeliner throughout my upper lash line. I'm only keeping it in my outer corner because if we bring the eyeliner for our iris, we will not elongate the eye, we will just make it more round. This is the shape you want to create. You don't want a thick eyeliner over the entire length of your eye. You just want a longer wing that will go down here and it will create a new shape. It will accentuate your new shape. Now another very important step, I was almost doing it without filming it, is to bring eye, black eyeshadow down here. Let's go back to the brown and blend it even more. It's a lot, but I love it. Eyeliner in the inner corner, very important. You cannot have the elongated effect without eyeliner in the inner corner. This will basically add two millimeters to the length of your eye so yeah just practice and get that feline look that is so popular now on instagram and if you're not happy with how it turns out just take a tiny bit of concealer clean everything out we have a lot of time right now in isolation <laughs> So you can practice whatever you never had the time or the courage to try before. Just play with it. Just have fun with it. I'm not too happy with this blending right here. So, yeah, that will do. Let's clean 
the excess of the powder and I'm doing this before applying mascara because if you're doing this afterwards all the powder will get onto your mascara and if you want to add more highlighter this is the time to do it before mascara the same OMG from Ilamasca of course mascara it doesn't really matter what kind of mascara you use just be careful and on your lower lash build the mascara only on the ends of your lashes you need the roots to be clear of any mascara because now you have basically a new lower lid and you'll see how the black from this mascara will hide the contrast you have created with lights and with shadows and it will not look as harsh as it looked without the mascara. If you don't like the clumpy look, then just stop at one layer of mascara. And finally, the trick you already know, the trick you already use, but it's just that step that will only help you with like adding just the 5% of the enlargement, because the only step that really, really helps with creating this kind of illusion is the step we've done first and I mean the shadow but that was basically the skeleton of all this technique using this sp2 mup false lashes I'm taking just one false lash I'm cutting it in half placing it in the outer corner of my eyes because I want to elongate my eyes I do not want to make them rounder there you have it bigger lids bigger eyes longer eyes and i hope i've managed to prove to you that just one ivory eyeliner won't do the whole trick don't forget to visit my instagram account i will put the link down below because in pictures this makeup will look completely different and you'll see that on my instagram just let me know in the comments below what you think about this makeup look will you try it have you already tried it what do you think if you like this video if you like my technique please give me a thumbs up don't forget forget to subscribe of course it's very important for me and of course it's important for you if you want to learn more about makeup if you want to keep yourself updated please click on the notification bell i hope you have enjoyed this video and i also hope i will be seeing you in my next tutorial kisses